The birth of every new life is to be celebrated. This wonderful process is sometimes accompanied by uncertainties such as the risk of genetic defects due to chromosomal abnormalities. For example, Down syndrome usually presents as a moderate to severe intellectual disability and a physical developmental abnormalities and has an incidence of about 1 in 800 to 1 in 1000, which increases significantly with maternal age. Timely and comprehensive prenating screening not only helps parents to better understand the health status of the mother and baby, but also helps healthcare providers to detect abnormalities early and plan for treatment. Traditional Down syndrome screening is mainly done through serological testing, which is usually performed between the 11th and 19th week of pregnancy and has an 88% detection rate maximum. However, MGS-based non-invasive prenatal testing and IPT can be performed as early as the 10th week, while raising the detection rate of Down syndrome to over 99%. Unnecessary invasive testing can be effectively avoided, and the false negatives are significantly reduced. Therefore, NIPT is widely recommended by many authoritative organizations such as ACMG and ACOG, for the screening of many chromosomal abnormalities. Under the judgment and guidance of professional doctors, NIPT is suitable for screening advanced pregnancy, twin pregnancy, and pregnancies with history of trisomy, high risk of a new ploidy, contraindications for invasive procedures, or in vitro fertilization. NIPT consists of the following steps. 5 to 10 milliliters of blood of the pregnant woman at 10 to 24 weeks is drawn and sent for testing under the advice and guidance of doctors from the Department of Gynecology and Obstetrics. The laboratory conducts a DNA test on the blood samples, and pregnant women obtains the NIPT report. If there is a conclusion indicating a high risk in the NIPT report, the pregnant women should undergo further prenatal diagnosis as advised by doctors from the Department of Gynecology and Obstetrics.